Hey YouTubers and gamers, I am Cybersnake7 and this is Cyber's Sunday Pickup Show, the Mega Drive Special. Now, it's more Mega Drive Madness than Special, but I'll get on to that in a bit. But firstly, I just want to say an absolutely massive, massive thanks to each and every one of you who left me comments and stories and video comments concerning my little 50 subs quiz I did last week. Um, absolutely overwhelmed with the response that I received for it. Uh, did not expect that whatsoever. Um, and also, I just want to be uh, put a, a great shout out to um, all my new YouTube subscribers. Fantastic guys! Thanks for uh, checking me, me your channel out. Um, hopefully, plenty more to come. Um, but anyway, getting on to the quiz winner. Um, as I say, I've had unbelievable amounts of responses in stories, comments, and video uh, responses. But I did say I was going to leave it entirely to the wife to choose, and she has chose the winner. And the uh, winner is uh, a YouTuber named Twitter Shred. Uh, the guy unfortunately lost uh, over a thousand hours of gameplay save for um, Fantasy Star Online. Um, and I can understand, and I just know how he feels because I've done that myself uh, a couple of times, and it's made me never want to play that game again. So, um, congratulations mate, you are the winner of my quiz. Um, don't forget, you can either have Ninja Scrolls, or you can either have Akira Special Edition. All I ask you to do, my friend, is uh, post mail me on my YouTube channel with your choice, and also your name and details, and I'll get it winging off to you first thing tomorrow morning, friend. But, everybody, thanks for playing, uh, thanks for having a go, um, and congratulations to Twitter Shred, mate, well done. Um, now, let's move on to Mega Drive. Um, me and the Mega Drive have had a bit of an up and down relationship over the years because when it came out, I never got one because I had a choice between a Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo, and I became a Super Nintendo fanatic. Technically, that was it. I was Super Nintendo all the way, and I didn't really mess with the Mega Drive. I bought one late in its life. Um, and I played a lot of games on the system, uh, but never really owned too many. Um, and obviously my friends had more experience in it than I had um, in games, wasn't that? All I did was just buy the odd game and then play a lot of my friends' games and that. So, in a way, I've really neglected the Mega Drive when it first came out. And I watch videos on people how when they first got their console and the games they bought for it and the love they had for it, and I thought, well, I've... I had all that for the Super Nintendo, so I never really give the Mega Drive a chance, but I thought to myself, I'm not really bothered because I've got a second chance and I can do that now. So I'm going to give my Mega Drive uh, more of the respect that it deserves and play a whole lot more and probably or definitely get a lot more games for it. Um, but a game I have never owned... Um, but always played on other other people's systems is Sonic the Hedgehog. Never ever owned the game, ever, which is weird. Uh, being obviously one of the biggest and the mascot for the Mega Drive. So I thought, right, if I'm going to do this properly, I'm going to start. I'm going to be buying Sonic. So I bought Sonic, uh, a very nice condition Sonic one uh, with the tab. I've got the obsession with the tab now. Don't know why. Never did before, but now I have. So. I got myself a uh, pristine Sonic 1 uh, and now as you can see I'm playing that on the screen uh, thoroughly enjoying it uh, and I'm determined to actually do this one I've never ever completed Sonic so this should be interesting but there you go Sonic 1 and then a couple of days later I got myself a very very nice conditioned Sonic 2 uh, another one I've played but only on friend systems never owned and then another one I got, um, which was, this is where it starts to get expensive, uh, for me anyway, uh, bought Sonic 3. Now this is anything between 15 and 20 odd quid, uh, and I was lucky to pick it up for about £16, and it's absolutely pristine condition, instructions, the works. So I was glad to get that. The only way I've ever seen this game is uh, watching a YouTuber um, go through it level by level, um, apart from that never ever seen anything of the game or played it. So I got the first three and I thought well I'm going to go and get 
Sonic Spinball and I did and I've got a nice copy of Sonic Spinball uh, and I've played this and I do like this game, it's actually quite a good pinball game, it, it is quite difficult um, but I was glad to get this uh, and as it, yet again it's in immaculate condition if I'm going to get a collection I'm going to get a collection and it's going to be in decent perfect condition and then lo and behold the last one I bought obviously was Sonic and Knuckles now to get this in a decent condition with the tab and all and no blemishes or no nothing on it uh, is hard um, also the price wise uh, this is fluctuated uh, some you can get it for 9 quid and it goes up to even 40 quid I've seen it for all depends on the condition and the quality of the game when I bought it I got it for luckily I got it for about 11 quid but unfortunately with no instructions so I had to go on to eBay and I found one person who was selling instructions and I thankfully won those instructions and now I have a complete game I have the complete Sonic and Knuckles which I'm very very happy about and the complete collection apart from one which was um, Sonic 3D um, Flickers Island I think it's called I'm not too sure whether I really want that game uh, one I probably should do for the collection but two it's not a very good game I've been told uh, and by looking at it on YouTube it doesn't look great but I'm up in the air about that one so I too fussed but anyway I got those set and I thought shall I set myself a little challenge and get them the collection on all format systems meaning Genesis Japanese and PAL so I did and I set myself a three week challenge to try and get all the collection of Sega, um, uh, the Sonic games on the Genesis the Japanese version and the PAL, but I've got the PAL so I started on the Genesis and then I got myself firstly Sonic 1 for the Genesis uh, different artwork, loving the, loving the this cover preferred over the PAL version got the not for sale sign on there, you can't get too many of these apparently I don't know why it's got that uh, not for sale sign unless it's come with a box set but I uh, got myself a very nice condition Sonic 1 liking the artwork and then I grabbed myself Sonic 2 yet again same artwork on the back uh, same artwork as the PAL version but it's slightly enlarged um, and it does look better to be honest than the PAL version and then it comes to the difficult one um, to try and find this in good condition and at a reasonable price uh, was a challenge for me uh, trying to get Sonic 3 um, this game I've seen on there for £200 uh, God knows why somebody's trying to put it there for £200 uh, but thankfully I paid roughly I think about 24 quid for this and that still may be too much but nevertheless I still got a pristine condition one from America uh, happy as Larry about that uh, and then Obviously I got the first three, I need Sonic Spinball, now this one was dirt cheap, I got this for 8 quid complete, which I'm very very happy about. And there you go, that is the Genesis version of Sonic Spinball, absolutely no difference in the game itself, but different artwork. Um, and it's in very 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 good condition, and I'm very happy to own it. There you go, that is Sonic Spinball. Now, a 3 week challenge, I failed, because realistically it should have been last week, that I was going to do my Mega Drive special but because two items never turned up I failed my three week challenge but who cares I still ended up with all the games that I wanted so never let, never mind but this is one of the games that I actually was waiting for and this one and another one turned up both yesterday which is ironic and I'm glad that they did but this one off, um, I found the hardest to find by far uh, one for price and one in complete condition so it took me a while it took nearly three weeks to turn up but um, lo and behold I have a perfect one say perfect but a very very good conditioned um, Sonic and Knuckles on the Genesis the only drawback about this one is we have a label on the back which I'm going to try and get off but I'll see how that goes and obviously you've got slight wear on the box itself and a bit of a crease but trying to get these in good condition and at a good price is very hard so I'm, I'm pretty pleased that I've actually got this 
in the condition it's in. So I didn't stop there. I've got the PAL versions, I've got the Genesis versions. I want the Japanese versions. So that's exactly what I did. And there you go. Sonic 1, Japanese version. Uh, love Japanese Mega Drive games solely for the artwork. Absolutely. And my, all of these were brand new, what I got, which was good. Very, very, very good and very cheap. So there's Sonic 1. And then Sonic 2. Um, I had to scare this one, uh, look hard for this one, because the Asian version and the Japanese version are exactly the same. But thankfully, on the front cover, it says Asian version, which is a god godsend, to be honest. Otherwise, it would have ended up with this Asian version. But thankfully, I've got myself uh, a nice conditioned Sonic 2, Japanese. Uh, this one was the cheapest by far. I got this for about 10 quid. Brand new. Sonic 3. Another fantastic artwork on front and back. Uh, very psychedelic. If you look at it closely, it'll like, send your eyes on it to be honest. But there you go. Sonic and Knuckles. Chuffed to bits that I've got that one. Uh, and then these two. Uh, I didn't really know. Obviously, do I knew there was going to be, but I couldn't find it. Um, and I eventually got Sonic Spinball. Japanese, love the artwork on this one, big massive bold Sonic on the front, uh, lovely colours, Sam on the back, can't beat the Japanese artwork, or, or, that's what I, I think anyway, absolutely brilliant, but there you go, that's uh, Sonic Spinball, Japanese, no tab on that one again, but some of them have got tabs, some of them don't know why, and then finally, another one that turned up yesterday, um, which I'm very very happy to own, uh, is this little number, the Japanese Sonic and Knuckles. Now, yet again, one issue with this, uh, I bought it, one, because it was very cheap, uh, but the unfortunate thing was it w was, uh, or should I say, it didn't have any instructions with it. But thankfully, I found an eBay app that was selling Sonic and Knuckles instructions, Sonic 3 instructions, and another set of instructions, all Japanese, and I got them for a fiver. So I had those, I've had those for about a week. Um, and then obviously waiting for this to come and it turned up yesterday thank god but it's in very very good condition no issues with it apart from yet again the top issues with slight wear uh, and probably on the bottom there as well but that is something I can live with to be honest just to own this game in now complete form is you know superb and there you go that is Sonic and Knuckles on the Japanese Mega Drive or the Japanese version of the game. And that, my friends, is the madness I went through. I mean, I know there's actually buying a collection of games and not having a collection like a Sonic collection I've never owned, so I thought, yeah, I'll get them, pal. But to go that a little bit further and have them on three formats is probably a bit overboard, but I don't care. I've got them. They're all in magnificent condition, and I'm pleased as punch to have them. Now, I have got a few more Mega Drive games, um, but I'm going to keep them to one side because that is for my next edition of the Cyber Sunday Pickup Show. But this is where I'm going to end it, my friends, and I just want to say yet again, thanks to every single one of you who entered my little quiz. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Hopefully there's plenty more. Uh, and basically, I am CyberSnag7. Keep playing, keep watching, until next week guys, see you later.